Today, guys, we are taking a look at the Paula Duo. I think I'm saying that right. Don't quote me, but I think it's right. Paula Duo lavalier microphone, which you can pick up on Amazon for you know, roughly right around $20 at the time of this review. Uh, if you're interested, there will be a link down in the description to the product itself. Anywho, uh, so yeah, it's a lovelier lapel microphone, 3.5 millimeter uh, pro, best for iPhone, Android smartphones, recording YouTube, podcast, voice dictation, video conferencing, studio in interviews, external condenser microphone. Now, what, first thing I'd like to say is if you're looking through here, it does not tell you what kind of pickup pattern it has, at least if it does, I've not been able to find it. Um, from my playing around with it and getting used to the product, I would say it is not a uh, cardioid pickup pattern. It definitely seems more omnidirectional. Uh, so that's one thing to definitely keep in mind. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to switch over to my phone so we can actually take a look at the product itself and then uh, you know what comes in the box, what you get, etc. And then we will hook it up to uh, my phone and my computer. Well, potentially the computer. Um, but we will definitely be hooking it up to my smartphone and I'll be letting you hear samples of the audio uh, without any processing and then a sample of the audio with post-processing or processing on so you guys can be the judge on if uh, this seems like a good microphone for you. Um, I have my opinion, which we will get to at the end of the video. I will let you know exactly what I personally think of it, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, let's establish a baseline. This is me talking directly into the built-in microphone of my Android phone using the Open Camera app. The Open Camera app is an amazing app, by the way. I am not sponsored by them. I'm just saying this is the camera of choice that I have used for quite a long time because it gives you very finite controls over your camera, your video recording, white balance, everything you can think of, ISO, it's all there. And yeah, it's like a photographer or video um, videographer's Android app of dreams because it gives you full range of tweaking anyway. So this is me talking normally as I would with any of my videos through like something like, um, I don't know if it'll stretch, but something like through this microphone, which is not on. I am not recording just as, yeah, through it, just to give you an idea. Uh, but yeah, so now let's whisper. I'm talking very quietly. I will be repeating this process with the lavalier microphone clip to my shirt right here. If you can even hear the words I'm saying right now. Anyway, let's move over to the lavalier microphone phone and see how that sounds shall we all right guys now we are speaking through the lovelier microphone as you can see which is clearly clipped to the collar of my shirt right here uh, there's a loud truck passing by outside so this is a good opportunity to show how much noise it picks up or what it picks up besides you uh, as I said in the beginning I really feel like this is an omnidirectional microphone not a cardioid therefore I'm not really perturbed with the fact that it's pointing that way uh, so it should still be picking me up just fine. Uh, again, this is no processing on this first clip that you're watching. Uh, the processed one, the audio processed one, will have a little thing down here saying that this is with audio processing. We will play that right after this so you guys can get a very good feel of it. Uh, now that I've been done talking normally, let's whisper. Now we're shouting! We are talking exceptionally loud! How does this sound? I am probably tearing up the meters while I am talking right now! Ah! Red zone! Highway to the... Whatever. You get the idea, guys. Let's move on. Play the clip again. Processed this time. Alright, guys. Now we are speaking through the lovelier microphone, as you can see, which is clearly clipped to the collar of my shirt right here. Uh, there's a loud truck passing by outside, so it's a good opportunity to show how much noise it picks up or what it picks up besides you. Uh, as I said in the beginning, I really feel like this is an omnidirectional microphone, not a cardioid. Therefore, I'm not really perturbed with the fact that it's pointing that way. Uh, so it should still be picking me up just fine. Uh, again, this is no processing on this first clip that you're watching. 
Uh, the process one, the audio process one, will have a little thing down here saying that this is with audio processing. We will play that right after this so you guys can get a very good feel of it. Uh, now that I've been done talking normally, let's whisper. Let's see what it sounds like when you are talking exceptionally quiet. See how it, how it handles that. So now we are talking very quiet through this Bella Duo lavalier microphone off of Amazon.com. There will be a link down in the description if you decide that you want to try this microphone out yourself. Of course, I will have my own opinions at the end of the video to tell you what I really, truly, personally feel about this microphone. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're whispering. Now we're shouting! We're talking exceptionally loud! How does this sound? I am probably tearing up the meters while I am talking right now! Ah! Red zone! Highway to the... Whatever. You get the idea, guys. Let's move on. Play the clip. Alright, guys. So, what's my thoughts on the Paladuo Lavalier microphone? Uh, let's start with some pros. Pros is... Got a decent price. I mean, twenty bucks. It's it's a microphone. Uh, it comes with uh, you know a, a very decent carrying case. It comes with a little bit over two meters of an extension cable, which gives you roughly roughly about three, maybe three and a half meters of uh, range with the uh, microphone plugged into something. Uh, it comes with an adapter uh, in case your device that you're using on, be, albeit a a cell phone or you know smartphone like I am a um, camcorder, something like that. Uh, you're covered. It should work with pretty much anything. Unless caveat, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter jack on your phone. Uh, if that is the case, then you will need to get a uh, USB adapter of some sort, like a USB C or micro USB, uh, you know, uh, adapter to be able to plug that into to be able to use it with your device. Um, but I don't really consider that a con because it's kind of a use case scenario. So, you know, you, you need to know your own hardware and know what you need. Um, pretty much that's it for the pros. My, the cons, oh man. Um, let me just say that I, I've had this microphone now for a month. I actually meant to get this video out sooner, but I was playing with it quite a bit. Uh, getting, getting a feel for the microphone itself. And honestly, uh, I think it's very way too sensitive for a lavalier microphone. Uh, I could not get a good clean audio out of it unless I was talking very, very quietly, which was very unnatural for me. Um, so that's one thing to consider. It is super, super sensitive. So if you're gonna use it, probably don't wanna clip it right up here to your shirt. And I clipped up there on purpose because I think that's where most people will clip it, uh, either around here or you know somewhere just a little bit lower, either any which way around it, it was still very sensitive. And I was getting a lot, a lot of clipping um, when using it, unless, like I said, I was talking unnaturally quiet. Uh, and I'm very much used to projecting for you know video production, even in you know a live, uh, live drama or you know stage theater you know you're, you're taught to project you are taught to get that voice out there and you know it so that's where kind of the whole announcer thing or you know it, it, the the whole voice comes in uh any which way i i think it's very very sensitive that is very really my only con for it now the question is would i pick it up myself because this product was sent to me for free for uh, for me to review. Um, honestly, I I'm not sure. I would probably shop around and see if I could find something else in the, the price range that is a little bit better. Um, again, it was just this is just my experience with it. I find it very sensitive. If you have a very quiet voice, then it, it's probably a good fit for you. But if you're if you're used to projecting and you have a very in your face out there voice kind of like i do it's probably not a great fit for your needs um by all means though it is definitely um you know it's definitely worth picking up for twenty dollars to give it a try yourself and see how you feel about it maybe leave a review on amazon uh like i said it comes with an adapter which i did not need to use at all with my with my uh, equipment so it plugs in and it works provided you are using the open camera app on your phone because uh, most Android cameras don't allow the use of an external microphone. 
at least none of the ones I've ever used, not the default ones, the stock ones that come with your phone. Um, but open camera lets you do a lot of things. So if you're using it with that, you're golden. Uh, again, 20 bucks, you get what you pay for. It is a microphone, it does work. I do think it is way too sensitive. Um, beyond that, it seems like a very solid product. So I'll leave it up to you guys. If you're interested in the microphone, there will be a link down below to Amazon where you can pick it up for, like I said, about 20 bucks. Right now, I don't know if this is showing up for everyone, but as you can see on the screen right here, you can save an extra 5% off at the time of recording this video. Anyway, guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Follow me over on Twitter. And yeah, there'll be links to all that below. And let me know what you think in the comments below of how this microphone sounded. Till next time, this is Alan, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Wow, that's that.